Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. The constitution that we're discussing right mm -hmm. now is the 1996 constitution. Mm -hmm. Now, what was the spirit in that constitution? From 1991 to 1996, what, was, what did the MMD want to do? Mm -hmm. Having been ruled under a one-party participatory democracy for 27 years under the KK regime, the first thing we wanted to do was to change that no political president was going to rule beyond two terms. Mm -hmm. Let's be very clear. That was the reasoning with that constitution which came into play. Now, the 1996 constitution was merely amended in 2016. I want that as a premise so that people understand. Mm -hmm. So the spirit of the letter of the law is that no president was to exceed two terms. We have to make that very clear. Mm -hmm. Under the 1996 constitution, there was Article 35. Article 35 simply said, a person who has been elected twice mm -hmm. to office shall not be eligible it's in mandatory terms mm. shall not be eligible to stand again that means the two terms must be respected however we must be very clear a president is given by the constitution two terms to stand of five years each but it's not mandatory that he must serve those five years. Let me go deeper so that the common man now can understand. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to 2006. Under the 1996 constitution, one Levy Patrick Manoas, a state council, the late, is elected for the second time into office. He was initially elected in 2001. Now he's elected for the second time in 2006 to hold office as president. Unfortunately, he dies. Therefore, in 2008, the Zambian people mm -hmm. are forced to go for a presidential by-election in 2008 to elect what? A president. But which parliament is in session here? Please follow me. The lifespan of a president is tied to the lifespan of parliament. He doesn't exist on his own. No. Parliament in 2006 was not dissolved. But the constitution said if the president dies, within 90 days there must be a by-election. That is how come Buezani. Rupia Buezani Banda became our president in 2008 after the death of Manawasa. Parliament was still there. It was not dissolved. The lifespan of parliament was running. The president therefore had to run. By 2011, His Excellency the President Rupia Buezani Banda was compelled to dissolve parliament, which was his parliament now. It means that for all arguments, the president cannot exist without National Assembly. When he attends it, it becomes parliament. His term is tied to that of parliament. This is a very important part which I think we have missed here. That is why when he dissolved parliament, technically he dissolved himself. But the law allows him to remain in office during the election period because there should be no vacancy. It says he must hand over to the next president-elect. Mm -hmm. 2011, President Sata wins the elections. 
that 2014 mm -hmm. president sata dies with his parliament in session elected in 2011 parliament of 2011 is not dissolved the presidency has a vacancy because the constitution has got the 90 days within which to run a by-election so we go for a by-election mm. for the presidency unfortunately for the patriotic front at that time it suffered two problems they had no presidential candidate so in 2014 the pf had to go to a convention the constitution of the pf reads the person who is elected at the convention becomes automatically the presidential candidate in the general election to run or in the parliamentary i mean the presidential by election to run his excellency edgar chagualungu was elected as president of pf in 2014 at a convention on the 20th of january mm -hmm. 2015 he was elected to office for the first time and he found the parliament from 2011 running his term is tied to this parliament of 2011 this parliament of 2011 was going to be dissolved in 2016 so by law he was mandated to dissolve that parliament just like Rupia Banda, dissolving this parliament in 2016, technically he dissolved himself. It means elections had to be held. 11th of August 2016, His Excellency the President, Edgar Chagualungu, gets elected for the second time with a new parliament, whose life now they begin together. But he has already been elected again in 2015 so he's being elected in 2016 is the second time mm -hmm. let me just go a bit deeper here mm -hmm. you cannot argue that the president did not hold office as i've heard mm. some people arguing mm. that the president did not hold the office <laughs> let's be serious the constitution is a practical document it speaks life mm. into a nation mm. we must be very clear in the current constitution article 105 clearly states as it did before how does the president assume office one he gets elected then he is sworn in mm. by the chief justice mm. or the deputy chief justice as the case may be mm. and then he assumes office did that happen for edgar chagualungu in 2015 Twice. yes did it happen for edgar chagualungu in august 2016 yes twice mm. So, so he cannot say mm -hmm. he has not been elected twice he has mm -hmm. therefore he is caught by one cut article 106 sub clause 3 mm -hmm. twice selected mm -hmm. he cannot run again mm -hmm. let's be very clear mm -hmm. now people have been saying no but uh, uh, the, the 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 constitutional court said sure. and the con no no, no. Mm -hmm. the life of the presidency as an institution has always been attached to the life of parliament that is why when parliament is dissolved the president cannot stay in office parliament has got power to prolong its life mm -hmm. but in special circumstances for instance if there's a war if there's a war parliament can prolong its life for 12 months mm -hmm. They can remain in office and say, no, we are fighting a war. If we go to elections now, there'll be problems. Let's maintain this. But that's not an election. We're talking about being elected. Once you're elected twice, Kwame <laughs> Navadala, that's it. Mm. You're done. All right. Mm. So All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.